Hi, I'm Randolph Miller, and welcome to another exciting show, Birthing Out of the Cocoon, a cry in the wilderness ministry, drug and alcohol ministry. Odessa Jackson and Crystal Anderson of Georgetown will be here to talk about that. It's the third annual AGB Black Health Expo, September 7th. Well, the Owens will be here to tell us all about what's happening there and the excitement. And Vagney Bradley, Low Country Weekend host and producer, will take us on another wonderful adventure. And we have great music for you right here on Bounce Around Charleston. Okay, welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Birthing Out of the Cocoon, a cry in the wilderness ministry, drug and alcohol ministry. My guest, Odessa Jackson, CEO, peer support specialist, sobriety coach, and Crystal Anderson, board member. They will tell us all about this program. Welcome to Bounce Around Charleston. Thank you. Okay, Birthing Out of the Cocoon, why that title? Well, as you know, um, a cocoon is something that it, it has you inside and it's an ugly place. Mm -hmm. Just like, you know, a butterfly. Mm -hmm. it, it develops you. And once it develops you, you develop into a beautiful butterfly. And as those who are coming through are going through the drugs and alcohol phase, it's an ugly place. Mm -hmm. And God births you out and he brings you out into a beautiful person as he brings you out, you know. So this is what this ministry does. Once you come into the folds of Christ, he brings you out and he brings you out into a beautiful person, into his image. So this is what Birthing Out of the Cocoon okay. is all about. Listening to the news, the opioid ep epidemic is something major yes, going is. on right now. <laughs> so um, how is this disease impacting and destroying people's lives? Oh my gosh. Um, the opioid epidemic has touched the lives, it touches the lives of 90 people per day. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's destroying people, it's killing people daily. You know, um, our, our young people, young, old, it does not discriminate. Mm -hmm. This disease of addiction, it is taking people out daily. Mm -hmm. It has no gender discrimination. It does not have, it's not gender specific. It's not, uh, it, it, it's not, how do I put it? Um, economic. It doesn't touch you economically. It, it, it has no racial uh, uh, barriers. It touches everybody's lives. It, 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 it's just destroying people's lives daily. You know, each community we have to come together, you know, um, and we have to combat it, you know, and the only, the only way that we can do this is to come together, get in the ring and mm -hmm. to fight, you know, as a community, we have to take back our children, our husbands, our wives, and our families. Mm -hmm. So Crystal, as a board member, what is your job to help make this come about? Support. Mm -hmm. I am, uh, I call, I just work in the background. I just be her ears and, and whenever she's frustrated, you know, she'll call and talk. But mostly we, we talk about what's going on and how we can make it better for our community. Yes. Um, we have to start at home. The Bible says charity begins at home. So we have to start where we are. We can't go abroad if we can't control it where, from where we are. So apparently there's a lack of assistance yes. in the Georgetown community. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do to change that? We need funding. We need uh, our city council. We need the mayor. We need people who are in, in, in power, in place mm -hmm. to come out. We need donations. We need the churches. We need the community. We need leaders. We need everybody to come together mm -hmm. to donate. Mm -hmm. You know, we need funding. It takes funding. It takes money to come together to, to do something 
to, 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 to put what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to do is to get an 18 to 24 month rehab in place, you know, to help, to combat, to, to, to help those that are out there that are still struggling in this area because we have nothing in place in Georgetown County. So this outreach ministry is, is placed where? Right now we're in Lighthouse of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. who, where my bishop, uh, past bishop uh, Floyd Allen Nolan, he is the bishop, and we are located in the church right now. You okay. know, where we run into groups and stuff right there out of the church. But we need to branch out from the church and get a facility going where we can assist. There is, not, there is no assistance. This is what the problem is. You know, there is no assistance. We have the drug problem there, but there is no facilities that set up for the people. Mm -hmm. That's where the problem lies. So you're getting ready to have a three-night revival to do what? To raise money, mm -hmm. to try to help. We need money. We need, we need the funding in order to, for us to be able to get property to, to, um, to, to build, either to build or to, uh, to buy a, 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 a mobile home or, you know, a unit to put onto the property so that we can open up a facility so that we can accommodate those that are in need. So uh, uh, for more information, they need to contact you. Yes. Yes, sir. Odessa Jackson. Okay. And that's at 843-385-7160. Yes, sir. And, and that's www.cryinthewilderness.org. Yes, sir. And if they go there, they can find out how they can assist you in this effort. Yes, sir. But you want the community to come out to the revival. Yes, sir. Okay, that's September 18th through September 20th. Yes, sir. Am I correct? Yes, sir. Okay. At 7 p.m. At 7 p.m.? 7.30 p.m. nightly. At Lighthouse of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. Okay. You've got some wonderful speakers on the 18th, Minister Crystal Pitts, and then you have a testimony from the police chief. Uh, Kelvin Waits, and then on the 19th, Pastor Charles Johnson, testimonial of Dan Danielle Green, and then on the 20th, Shaniqua Washington, and then testimonial of Kevin Jackson. You have a great lineup here. Yes, sir. And, but you want the community to come out and assist you because you need funding to make this happen. Absolutely. Okay, and it's called Birthing Out of the Cocoon. And for more information, contact Odessa Jackson at 843-385. 7160 or www.cryinthewilderness.org. Thank you for being here on Bounce Around Charleston. And thank you for having us. Okay. Coming up next is the third annual AGB Black Health Expo right after this break.